morning everyone. Um, we are the reporters of chapter 12. And before we start, we introduce ourselves first. I'm just Tita Baris. I'm Alfred Gonciano Chantonio. I'm Eric Daligatos. I'm Ranz Rosgal. And we are the group 12. So today, we're going to talk about women in the Philippines of gender and society. Our learning outcomes, at the end of this chapter, the student should be able to describe how the role of Filipino women in society involved, state at least three kinds of responses of Filipino women to oppression, and explain how oppression emerged in the Philippine society. Our topic outline are women in the pre-colonial Philippines, women in the Hispanic period, women in the American era, the birth of militant groups with a feminist agenda, Filipinas who advance modern feminism in the country, current forms of oppression against the Filipino woman and the responses, women in the third world, and practical feminism in the Philippines. Women in the Philippines tell us about their roles and experiences throughout history. Influenced by a mix of indigenous and Spanish and traditionals, women primarily held domestic roles as wives and mothers during the Hispanic period. Limited educational opportunities and societal expectations saved their contribution. Understanding women's history provides insights into cultural dynamics, societal norms, and involving roles of women in different periods. Women in the pre-colonial Philippines. In the pre-colonial Philippines, women had diverse and significant roles within their communities. They were engaged in trade, agriculture, and craftsmanship. The pre-colonial era reflects a more egalitarian approach to gender roles compared to later periods. Understanding women's roles in pre-colonial Philippines offers insights into a rich cultural diversity and gender influences shape social norms. Women in the Hispanic period. In the Hispanic period, women had diverse roles influenced by social class, ethnicity, and cultural norms. While many adhered to traditional family roles, some women defined norms contributing to economic activities, education, and even participating in politics. So these experiences of women varied widely during this time. Women in the American Era Women in the American Era in the Philippines witnessed significant change with the expanded educational opportunities. Women actively participated in the societal and political movements, advocating for suffrage and reforms. Economic activities diversified and urbanization influenced the roles. The American Era sets the stage for increased women's involvement, marking a period of transformation in women's contribution to societal roles in the Philippines. The birth of militant groups with a feminist agenda the emergence of militant groups with a feminist agenda signifies a proactive pursuit of the gender equality often involving advocacy, protests, and at times confrontational approach to challenge the systematic inequalities. These groups aim to address issues like gender-based violence, discrimination, and unequal opportunities, seeking transformation, changing the societal norms and structures. So in this 10 Filipina, I will give three specific people who have made significant contribution to advancing modern feminism in the Philippines. So first, Lichia Ramos Shahani was a prominent Filipina diplomat, educator, and women's rights advocate who played a significant role in advancing gender equality in the Philippines and globally. She played a key role in the drafting and adoption of the landmark convention on the elimination of all forms of discrimination against women or sedow. Second is Patricia Benedis Lee Kwanan, also known as Patricia B. Lee Kwanan is the respected academic advocate and former government official in the Philippines. She has made, become involved in various initiatives aims from promoting women's employment, including education, health, and economic opportunities. Lastly is Teres Sita Cantos Viles. is a prominent Filipina peace advocate, women's rights activist, and former government official. Throughout her career, Deles was been a staunch advocate for women's rights and gender equality. She was working to ensure that women is included in the peace negotiation and that their voices are here in the peace process and promote women's employment. So for the last topic is all about is current forms of oppression against Filipino women and their responses. Current forms of oppression against Filipino women encompass gender-based violence, economics, disparities, and limited access to education and healthcare. Discrimination in the workplace and societal expectation also contribute and response Filipino women are actively in engaging in advocacy, legal reforms, and community initiative and address this issue, promote gender equality, and empower women across various sectors. Women in the third world. In the context of term, third world women and often face unique challenges related to socio economic disparates, limited access to education, healthcare, and cultural norms. Practical feminism in the Philippines. Practical feminism in the Philippines involves tangible efforts to address gender inequality. We need those initiatives that promote women's rights, combat gender based violence, and advocate for equal opportunities in education or workplace. Practical feminists in the Philippines engage in real-world actions such as community organizing, legal advocacy, and awareness campaigns to create meaningful and sustainable changes in the lives of women. The emphasis 
in, on translating feminist principles into practical, impactful measure for societal transformation.